What's up everybody Avignon here with week 14 of Fortnite chapter 3 and this might be the last week of challenges because the season ends on March 19th which is 9 days from now so we're gonna have one week to finish all the challenges. They never have challenges the last week before the next season. You know they're not gonna do challenges that you need to complete for 2 days. So this probably is the last week. We'll see maybe it's not but you know pay attention to the channel I'm going to be doing some changes to Fortnite content for next season so just pay attention probably next week I'll be doing an announcement anyway for this week you know at first I thought it was gonna be a pretty hard challenge to do in one match you know I thought I would need to do it in multiple matches but as I was doing it I was able to do it mostly on in one match you know I got kind of lucky to be honest but for the most part it's actually pretty possible to do it all in one match kind of they're also way easier and no random bullshit so let's start with this with trying to do all of them in one go the most effective way to do them in one go so first of all we're going to land at windbreakers wait is that how what it's called yeah windbreakers is the name of the the po the, the location landmark and we gotta survive in in these turbines for 30 seconds now i somehow there was nobody here normally you know when you're doing challenges there's people all around the spot but I guess people already done this challenge or people don't care anymore about challenges right now because it's the last week who knows but yeah it was just pretty easy to survive the 30 seconds so from here we're going to the drill team spot near that location we're going to get one of the IO chests there are two wild chests here. I don't know where the other one is. I should have looked for it. But the the IO guards kind of lasered me here. So I have to get out. But from here we're going to the Chompers Speedway. And we're going to get grab one of these cars with the off-road wheels. And we need to get 65... I think it's miles per hour. You know, they don't say if it's miles or kilometers. It's just 65. We need to reach, reach 65 Fortnite metrics. Whatever. And as you can see here, I do it pretty easily. You know, especially this is the fast car and it has the off-road tire so it's pretty easy to do it here. now we're going to use this car to go to tilted towers which is kind of far away but not that bad there we're going to hide in one of the, in one of the dumpsters so there is one dumpster here there's a i think there's like eight dumpsters around to the towers should be hard to find one now from here we're going to this location near to the towers you need to get five flamingo ornaments in this location i believe there are eight around here and i found as i think i found seven no six I think I found seven. yeah so there's two still in this location somewhere but it doesn't matter you just need five you know i didn't realize this as i was doing it i only realized as I was editing it, now you can actually see them on the mini map. You know the Y exclamation point, which makes it much easier. I was kind of like trying to find them, couldn't find them exactly. So I couldn't do this on the same match. But in another match, I went to the Daily Bugle to get another dumpster to hide on, which is part of the challenge. The same challenge, the Tilted Towers. You have to go to Tilted and Daily Bugle, but they are very far away from each other. So hopefully, you found a combo somewhere in here. You know, during this journey, we need to dance on top of one and i'm gonna show you a few locations that i know combos spawn you know so there there's actually a location at the desert that, that he can't spawn you can find you can find a combo easier if you have audio visualization on because you can see there's an indication for him if he is close there's also a tilted towers location so it's possible if you're going the same route that i'm going if you see the notification that he's nearby you know you go towards him to do this challenge i unfortunately it didn't work for me i had to do it in another match and i actually had to go around the map using the spider-man gloves to get to find him so if you need to do that you know just go to these locations that i'll show and lastly we are going to do 75 damage at the sanctuary so this i got really lucky because the zone ended at the sanctuary you know i was actually planning on doing this on covered caverns against the io guards that are in there or the the boss there i don't know if it counts obviously because i ended up doing this against players but you should test it out see if it works against ai also at the sanctuary there's the the rock i forgot the name of the character of the rock here you know the boss here you know you know he's the ai here so if it, it counts against ai you can do this against him here so just since this was the end game for me and was last free player
players. I'm just gonna let it run. You know, I ended up winning the match. You know, just a little bonus. That never happens because I never end up finishing matches. So I'm just gonna do it this time, just for fun. But anyway, so now let's go do the regular way of the challenge. We're gonna go look at each challenge one by one. So first of all, we're gonna survive on top of wind turbines at wind rakers for 30 seconds. So we got a bunch of turbines here. I got pretty lucky, you know, that no one was doing the challenge for some reason. You gotta survive 30 seconds. I believe if you die, it should still count the 30 seconds or should count however much you survive. It doesn't have to be consecutive, I think, but it shouldn't be a problem. I mean, again, wasn't contested for me and was pretty early you know so it should be easy. next we got search a seven or io chest so i did this on a drill team location every drill team location has two io chests so that is a pretty easy way to get io chests you can also find out io chests on on any of the vaults and then there are some io chests loose kind of in other locations but i feel like the drill team location is the best one because it's pretty easy you know where they are and it should be hard to find next we got reach a speed of 65 in a vehicle at chunker speedway or behemoth bridge so i recommend doing on chunker speedway because we got the fastest car in the game with the off-road tires so you can reach 65 pretty easily as you can see down here next we got hide in a dumpster at tilted towers and the daily bugle so so, you know you can this is a kind of complicated because you have to do on both locations you don't have to do them on the same match but they're kind of you know they're kind of far away unless you're going just for this challenge it's pretty easy to go between them if you, but if you're trying to do other challenges it can be kind of complicated you know there are plenty of dumpsters on both locations shouldn't be a problem finding one on each location next we got decorate shell or high water and happy campers with flamingo lawn ornaments so i did this on the location nearest to the towers which i don't know which one is which there are eight possible flamingos at that location i believe i was able to find six but you only need five and i think if other people do this they're not gonna take it from you so you just need five you know shouldn't be a problem Next, we got deal damage to opponents at Covered Cavern or Sanctuary. I did this on Sanctuary because I got lucky and my game ended at Sanctuary. So getting 75 damage was pretty easy. But I was going to try doing this against IO agents or bosses at Covered Cavern. So you should try that if you want to. It's way easier to get that damage. There's also the Rocks character at Sanctuary. You know, it's another AI that if it counts against AI, you know, the rock should be an easy one there and the last challenge for the week and possibly for the season then on top of combo so i believe combo is available on team rumble i don't remember anymore i'm gonna show you a few locations at the end of here it can spawn on almost every spot of the map as you said like every corner of the map and i think in you know it might just be one combo per match that's why i think it's not that easy to find them because there's only one it would make sense because it's a big fucking animal you know if you had multiple of them in the match i, I don't know I'm just like speculating here but if you can't find one command using the spider-man gloves and just zipping around going from one location to the other like i'm gonna show you and you should be able to find one if you have audio visualization it should be even easier because you get a notification that he's nearby and you can even get this notification when you are gliding so you can like maybe on sim rumble glide around a little bit to see where he is but yeah, it shouldn't be a problem. Just get on top of him and do the emote for the challenge. Pretty easy stuff. And that is it, everyone. Another week, possibly another season ending here. I will see you next week. You know, like I said, I have an announcement to make about the content on Fortnite. I'm going to be changing things a little bit. You know, hopefully next week you'll be making this announcement. And by season two, we're going to be changing things a little bit. Okay, so thanks for watching. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and use the code. Devin Young. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.